To find the molar mass for copper to phosphate, we'll go to the periodic table and find the masses for each of the elements, and then we'll add them up. So we go to the periodic table, we find copper, and that's 63.55 grams per mole. I won't write grams per mole each time. We'll do that at the end. We have three of these copper atoms, so we're going to multiply that by three. And then for the PO4, this is the phosphate ion, we have two of these phosphate ions. So we'll first find the phosphate, and then we'll multiply all of that by two. So let's put brackets here, and we'll find phosphorus, which is 30.97 grams per mole. And we only have one of those. We just have the one phosphorus. Then oxygen here, oxygen is 16.00, and the unit's grams per mole. But we have four of these oxygen atoms. So we'll put a four, multiply that by four. And then let's close our brackets here. And we have two phosphates. So all of this here is the phosphate. We'll put a two out here. So now we'll take 63.55 and multiply that by three. That gives us 190.65, the units are grams per mole. And then we'll multiply four times 16, add that to 30.97. When we get that number, we multiply it by two. That gives us 189.94 grams per mole. Add those numbers together. That'll give us the molar mass for Cu3PO42, the copper two phosphate. So we end up with 380.59, and now the unit's grams per mole. So if we have 380.59 grams, that'll be one mole of this copper to phosphate. This is Dr. B finding the molar mass for Cu3PO42. Thanks for watching.